Hello, welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, I'm sorry I'm not doing a live stream today. I just have a lot going on. I've got laundry going. I've got some phone calls I'm expecting back. I've got Girl Scout cookie order coming in. So stuff's going on. Um, if you don't know already, this is from Serene by uh, Nick Filbert, or if you want to try to pronounce that, be my guest. Um, I am doing a color along with May Brocks and uh, color and chat with Sammy. Um, we're doing this page, Iris. They are just about done. I am a slowpoke. I've also had a lot going on lately, so <clears throat> last two days I've not really colored a whole lot, which is super sad. Um, so I'm using a ton of different mediums on here. Um, the skull and the green here were uh, polychromos, the lodo, lodo, lotus, that's actually an iris. The iris and the hair were Drawet Pro Color. Um, this was originally Pro Color, but then when I started doing the ribbons with the Luminance, I went in and went over it to match. Um, they have done blue roses, so I added one as a kind of tip of the hat, so to speak. Um, my little blobby things, I think I'm going to do my orange, my bright orange. Um, let's see here. Oh, don't drop my phone. Don't drop the phone. It's not... Where did it go? I had... Holy moly, really? I have lost... No! Oh, there it is. I was like, no, I've lost my... I've lost my color charts. For what I was doing. Okay. So you see here there's the hair. There's the leaves. There's those. And then I want to do this. I had a different idea down here. This was the more of a greeny color. But I decided to go with the really bright blues. Um, so that's my plan. I'm going to see how it works. See what, what does what. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, I start like recording and then I haven't been coughing all day and then I start coughing. Um, this is a very large book. I don't have a regular book to, to show you guys, but here's just a typical, a typical page, just a copy page. So it is, it is a fairly large book. Um, so I don't know how much zooming in I'm going to do because I don't have a whole lot of room on my desk to maneuver this book. Um, so we'll see. I'm like, I'm hot and I'm cold and I don't know what's going on. I've been a mess lately, so I really just need to color. So the colors I'm actually using on the, the ribbon thingies out here is, um, I'm using as my darkest color, even though it's not technically the darkest. Uh, I'm using the Ice Blue in Luminance uh, 185. I'm using uh, the Lan Thalokayanin Blue uh, 162. Uh, Light Malachite Green 181. And then my, my poor little original white. I still have the white from the set that I bought that I haven't even touched. And on Dick Blick and my cart, I have five more of these. Can't say enough good things about these. I used the white for the highlights in the, in the, uh, I want to call it a lotus so bad. Um, in the iris, I used it here and I used buff titanium on here. Um, and then I'm using it here. And then for some, some darker areas, there are a few spots where I added extra. And with that, I just added a little Prussian blue, 159. And on the really, really dark spots, because this black is super black, um, 
009 from the Luminant. So those go off to the side. They're not my main colors. I only use them when I need to punch up the shadows. Just isn't too, too often. But like in here, I punched up a, a few shadows because it was running into like, here's a shadow, here's a shadow, here's a shadow, here's a shadow, here's a shadow. I wanted to kind of differentiate between the shadows. So I did that with the black and the Prussian. Um, I'm only going to do like one or two of these. These are really bugging me. There's too many. <laughs> I really, I really want to get in the yellow and oranges to really see how it pops because then that will decide what I do on her. Um, my, my roses, I'm just going to do red roses. I might, ooh, I could do yellow roses. Hmm. So, so just getting the outside done, I think will help me decide what to do inside. Um, this, not a lotus, Melissa. It is an iris. I tell you what, today has been horrible. So horrible. And not like for any specific reason, but um, this has been so horrible. I went into my drawer and instead of grabbing my chapstick, I, tra I grabbed the glue and I was pulling it off and I, I was like, oh, that's not my chapstick. I almost glued my lips, people. <laughs> I almost glued my lips. That's how bad and how out of it I am today. Oh, I've got, I've got part of it. We, we liquidated a few assets. Now I'm going to use it. My lips have been so chat lately. We liquidated some of our assets so we could have some down payment and to pay some stuff. Cause we'll need an appraisal. We'll need inspection, closing costs, down payment. So, like, got all that going on. I'm trying to keep track of... Okay, well, I've got to pay out this, and I've got the appraiser coming tomorrow. Oh, ice blue. Um, let me go ahead and finish off this one right here in the front. Um, and I'm being really loose and, and loosey goosey with this. I'm not. I'm not like, oh my god, I have to be exact. The looser I am with this, I feel the more it flows. In my opinion. Um, and it's really easy to be loose with luminance. I've found like it's super easy and I, I really like that so I've got I had to had to get our quarterly um, exterminator appointment it, we live we live by a creek so having an exterminator is extremely important not only because um, we live by a creek and so we don't want all the buggies coming in the house, but also um, there's a lot of wood on my house. I have wood floors uh, top to bottom. I have wood floors everywhere. Not a single carpet to be found. Um, so termites are our concern. So, you know, we just, and there have been termites in the house in the past. And so the landlord just said, you know, we're just going to continue on this, you know, quarterly so they don't come back, which is okay with me. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit and not lose too much. That should be good. Nope, I can't push it any higher. So you may lose right down here. Uh, so I got that done. Has surprise bill, dental bill for an extra $500 because they didn't submit the right code, so we had to get that redone. <sighs> I tell you what, this adulting shtick is, is too much. <laughs> I feel like I haven't been able to breathe. And coloring has been on the back burner, so I'm going to take my little thing and slip it under here. Uh, coloring's... Wait, that's... You guys can't see that, really. Let's see. No, I'm not going to be able to see my screen. That's okay. Nope. Nope, that's not going to do what I want it to do. Ooh, and that's going to mess up my screen. Anyway, so I'm just saying this is part of her shirt, not part of, part of that. 
because um, I almost colored it. So, yeah, this adulting shtick is not easy. Um, kind of done with it. Kind of done with it. My daughter got uh, an award, though. My oldest, she got an award, uh, an art class uh, of out of everything else. She's really good. She's a really good artist, I, I have to say. Um, hold on. I have to show it off. So every, because I'm a proud mama. So every um, first grader did this picture. So I was like five or six classes. Every first grader did this picture. I'm so proud of this. She did so good. She explained to me how she did it and and all this. So she's got an owl this year that I'm going to have to get also because I'm going to find a place to put that. Um, I need to hang, I need to frame that and hang it up. I just can't hang anything in, an, in my house right now. I am bouncing all over subjects. Please forgive me. Um, I can't hang anything in my house right now because it's not my house. Um, but when I buy it, damn sure Skippy, I am hanging. I'm hanging her art. I'm hanging my art. I was thinking, not necessarily this picture, depending on how it turns out. I'm, I'm really loving it. But depending on how it turns out, I, I do plan on framing some of these pictures that I'm doing. Um, but only if they're one-sided and only if tearing them out of the book won't kill the book. And yeah, or I have multiples of the book. I don't know. But so I want to frame hers. But anyway, so the, she was doing the owl project this year. And one of my neighbors, um, she actually runs the PTA group that gets those printed and shipped off to the... Uh, to the printers and, and coordinates all the orders and everything like that. Um, so I, I was going to help with that this year. And because her kids are going out of the elementary, um, she's going to like groom me to take that over, which will be so cool. Um, so but anyway, so she, she got this award for art. And they call it a possum, like a cat paw or whatever, because it, it's, they're the lions, the lion pride. So she got a possum award uh, for displaying pride. And, and then they break down into perseverance, integrity. Um, oh, hold on. Two seconds. Okay. Sorry about that. That was actually two seconds for you. That was about ten minutes for me. I had to do some stuff. I had to uh, switch over my laundry and all that fun stuff. Um, anyway, so my daughter got that award and we will be going to see her receive it at school at an assembly at like 9 a.m. next week. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to see that what she did. She was trying to show me the different techniques. I'm going to take the Prussian blue. I want it darker over here. Um, she was trying to show me how she made her owl, and I was like, "But I want it to be." A, I was like, "But I want it to be a surprise." Don't tell me. Don't tell me. <laughs> she was like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> Oh, you want me to delete? Just a second. Uh, okay, kids, what are you going to do? What was I doing? Oh, Prussian blue. Meh. I'm, I play township, so. Careful, please. Oh. Yesterday, I was expecting... The appraisal guy to like call and say he was on his way. So the impression they gave me when I called him was that this dude was just like super on top of things. And you know would just like show up. So I was like 
freaking out yesterday. Um, I want some black in here too. I was freaking out yesterday thinking, oh my God, I have to clean everything up and get the house pristine for this dude who'll just be like dropping by. Well, that never happened. But of course, before I realized that, um, my youngest decided to spill an entire cup of milk chocolate or chocolate milk all over the floor and I'm just like oh my god because of course if you're like in a rush trying to do something it's inevitable that somebody's gonna spill something and ruin it so I think that's all the black I want I go back in with the um, 162 the thalo cyanine blue I was watching, uh, I haven't watched a whole lot of videos lately, which is sad because I love watching YouTube videos of, of coloring videos and I've not been watching too many lately. I've really been distracted, um, so I feel bad. I, I did hear that Erin from uh, Simple Art for Adults is feeling better. She's back home and if you don't know follow her Facebook I'm not gonna spill everything but I did hear she's feeling better and so that's exciting I'm looking forward to her popping back up with some more videos um, I'm just gonna, gonna do this here there's no shadow lines or anything so I'm just kinda making my own yeah, so she's feeling better. I'm looking forward to some of that. Um, I know in my last live stream, I, I put in the description all of the color alongs that are going on. The draguary from Coloring Maja is still going on. I finished, uh, I finished my Bertha. Put her in that. Um... I have not finished Bob. Bob's on the back burner because I decided that I have not challenged myself en self enough and went ahead and put in for a, a buddy color. Sorry, I'm just grabbing the Prussian blue here. Went in and for a buddy color for the Villain San poster to finish in a couple months. We'll see. The paper is kind of paper's iffy in that and I'm not entirely pleased like I, I, I'm the more I start messing with that book the madder I get I'm not necessarily mad but the more upset I get over how it was handled and all the the lack of forethought into the book and you can just tell it was sloppy it was super sloppy and just the paper's not good. Let's see. It's actually back here. I'm just going to do... This is just the light malachite green. I go over everything. So, I was testing, and the ink tense works pretty good in it. Um, but, like, not the best. It doesn't work as great as it does in uh, Zone Just Nova, that's for sure. Um, and then I tested the Derwent watercolor pencils, and they went through with hardly any water. Like, that was not a lot of water I put on there, and it went through. And I'm really, like, I'm really bummed, because that's a really big thing, and there's no way that I could hand color, like, I could color pencil the whole thing in just a couple months that would take me that would take me all year to do um, realistically for my my abilities I just it would take me all year um, so I was gonna you know do watercolor pencils and ink tents and do it that way so I guess that I used Gesso, and this is the the Finnabar, Finnabare, the Art Basics Gesso. 
I love this stuff. This is <clears throat> when you put it on it, it's a it's a really smooth gesso. Like it's not the really textured stuff, and I like the smoother one because then I don't feel like I'm eating my pencils up if I go over it. Um, so I put some gesso on, and you know it worked. It did it did its thing, um, and it protected the paper and didn't go through. But it gave a more smooth look than I think I was actually going for. I like the kind of modeled, uh, at least for what I have in my head, I wanted that modeled um, watercolor look for texture. May always goes on about it, the texture. I like the texture, and I have to agree. In this one, it the texture would have been everything. Um, but now I'm, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Um... Like, I just don't know what to do. Do I just... I mean, there's nothing on the back of it. So it's not like... It's not like I couldn't do it. Excuse me if you hear my burps. I actually went and got a soda today. I was so, like... Maybe that's why I'm, like, keyed up. I got some caffeine running through my system. Um, anyway, so... I don't know... If... I mean, there's nothing on the back that really matters too much. Um, so I guess it wouldn't matter if it went through. I would just worry about it, like, eating up the paper and the paper pilling. And then and then what do you do? Then you've ruined it. So I'm really, like, I'm really at a loss. I don't know what to do. I'm being very free with this, guys. I'm super... Whatever kind of works for me in the moment. Then I'll take white and go over the whole thing and smooth it out. So I'm, I'm at a loss of what to do there. I am enjoying this though. This is really nice papers. Uh, the polychromos love this paper. Oh my gosh. They just go on like a dream. Um, and really the uh, pro colors, I have not been able to find a really good paper for the pro colors to work on, but you want detail on these pictures, the pro colors where to go. I mean, look at, that's some deep purple. I've, I used the grape and the dark violet and, oh, I forget. And the light violet and or heather. I used heather um, for some highlights. And I used white. And then uh, plum for the pinky color. So it, it I think it turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. And I really like the the flow of the hair. That turned out pretty good. That was the autumn leaf and nutmeg and chocolate. I forget what the other brown was. It was like brown ochre or something. I just want a little more deep blue in here. Or the malachite green. Because if I go over it with the white and there's no pigment anywhere, it's not gonna it's not gonna pull it for me. So I have to put it there to be able to push and pull it somewhere. So just making sure I've got enough pigment down too. Alright, so I'm going to take my baby white. It's not quite baby yet. I've got some uh, pencil extenders. I've got this, but I don't really like having to twist it. So i got the one where it's just the rings. And that should be coming here in a couple days. 
I also got Jelly Roll Stardust Clear. And I'm pressing pretty hard. I'm really mushing it all in and smoothing it out. Um, so I got Stardust Clear. Oh, and I got the Glaze. The Glaze Clear. Because Sammy made it look so pretty. Oh, I could put glaze and make it look like liquid. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm, she says. Hmm. That could be super fun. Might try one of these ones off to off somewhere and see how that looks. I like how this almost looks like water. I know, you know, I think same is doing a watery background. I did gray neo colors neo color twos then i took the french grays out of the luminance and did the background she's doing a watery background may's finished of course wouldn't be may if she wasn't done I am having Taco Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. That's stir fry last night. I had that for lunch too. It was yummy. All right. I think that's good. I really think it needs a little darker down in here. I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave it for now. What's nice about these luminances is as long as I don't run over with the um, full blender, I can just keep layering. It doesn't really have a stopping point. So that's that's what the blue looks like. I'm going to go in. I am. I'm going to take and do one of the ones up here. Zoom, zoom out. So I'm going to do one of the ones up here. So I was going to use... And I'm not going to sharpen these. These are fresh from factory. Uh, so I was going to use Permanent Red 61. Cornelian 850. Orange 30. And um, golden bismuth yellow, 820. So let's see. All of the shadowy thingies seem to be the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of go with what they've got. see how much of these colors I actually want. So there's that. Let me wipe it off my white, get all that blue off and make me the there we go. I had to run it on a paper. So I'm just gonna rub all that in. Let's see, do I want to rub that in with that, or do I want to rub it in? Hmm. Doesn't really make too big of a difference. None of these colors really changed much when I used the um, full blender. So, And then, I guess what I do, oh, that's not the one I already opened. Can I do both? Can I do... Can do glitter and glaze. <sighs> what do you think? I'm doing it. All right. 
So let's get it started. There's my glitter. Let that dry. I'll go do another one. I'm really digging these bright blues and bright oranges. They, they're fun, they're happy. And sometimes you need fun and happy. Sometimes I worry that that stardust is just a little too... Maybe it's just me, and because of the gray background, I think it looks gray to me. So, is that dry? I think so. So then I'm going to just take the glaze and just go over. Maybe I don't need to do quite all of that. But it's mine, right? I can do what I want. I don't know if you guys, but you guys can't even see that. I can't get it. I can't get the piece of paper. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. Let me shine a light on it. I can't even get the piece of paper to. Oh, come on, phone. There we go. Get some light. Oh, yeah. Is that working? There's some shimmer. It's too close. Alright. I'm happy with it. That's it, that's all that matters, right? Let me turn off my light now. Oops. Alright. It may be overkill. I don't care. I'm going to do it. Because it's what I want to do. Mommy, look at her mask. Oh, her mask is so rainbow sparkle. Now her face is blue. Oh, goody. What about your face? Is your face clean? No. <laughs> I see. Why don't you go clean your face? No. No? Nope. So I think I'm going to drop one of these colors. So I want more yellow in it. So I'm going to drop the permanent red. I'm actually going to sharpen it now. Because um, it's not giving me the control I need. that off. Get all that off. Nice and sharp. So I dropped down to just the cornelian, the orange, and the light or golden bismuth yellow. So I dropped down to those three. Took out the permanent red. I think it's just a little too much. Too many colors in small area. Um, maybe. Maybe sharpening it would help. No, because I really like that red added. <sighs> and that's all this is, ladies and gents. It's all coloring is. Trial and error. Trial and error. So, I'm going to take, snip that off because that was a really, really fine point. I can just go in and slip in some permanent red. So I think in the bigger ones here, it'll be awesome. So I'm just going with the the hash shadow marks.
Hmm. I want it darker. I went in pretty light because I wasn't sure. So I'm going to go in and just put a little more pressure down. My hands aren't in the way. Get the hands out of the way, Melissa. Get the hands out of the way. Uh, instead of the white, maybe I should use like a cream color. The primrose. Is this, would this be the makeup you would uh, choose if you were this person? That is the makeup I would choose if I was that person. I like the primrose better than the white. But you can also wipe it off. Well, that's good to know. To wipe things that you can wipe off. So let's just do a couple of these. That glaze. How uh -oh. long is this makeup? This makeup beautiful. She's got a makeup app on her tablet right now. Even though I don't hardly ever wear makeup. Do I? Do I wear makeup? Sometimes. Let's just starburst. So I kind of graze them out. I don't want that much. I noticed that it went on pretty thick. So I'm just gonna take my finger. So now I got shiny fingers. That's okay. I don't think the glaze went on that one. So let's try again. There, I think it went on that time. Yeah. I think I need to just pick one or the other. Um, we'll see. We'll let those dry and I'll pick one or the other. So, I want to choose which horse. Maybe later, honey. How about this horse? Oh, two right seconds, here. guys. All right, let's see. Uh, where was I? Because again, that was a couple seconds for you. It was another 15, 20 minutes for me. Um, but while I was doing other things, while I was doing other things, I was thinking, I want to do purple. Purple. Where's my book? Oh, here it is. The purple on the, I think that would be cool and it would tie into the iris. Um, let's see. Polly's. Polychromos. Could do some nice stuff. I'm thinking more in the manganese violet to the pinky range. So, I even do red violet, light red violet, and light purple pink, maybe. Or if I head over to, see if I head to Pro Color. Let's see, I, I used the grape, the dark violet, and the heather on the iris. So I don't want to do that again and it doesn't look like there's too many other purple options. Um, oh and I used the blue violet a little bit too. So not pro color. Let's see. Not Black Widow. Where am I? Luminance. So you've got the violet up here. Then you go into there's manganese violet. 
I'd do something nice and light. I could do the manganese violet. The violet and manganese violet. That'd be pretty. Or I can go bluey and do the ultramarine violet. There's not a lot of purples here either. I do violet gray. There's just yeah. So how's my Lyra purples looking? I did contact Lyra, and uh, they said that the breakage that I had wasn't. Good, so they're going to send me something. Nope, not digging those either. So let's go look at Prisma. Of course, Prisma Colors got the purple down. I think I'm down. Um, there's Violet. You're turning violet, violet. Hmm. Maybe I'll go pinky. Pinky wouldn't be too bad. I could do the Black Widows, too. They have some nice purples. I do like Tulip. Maybe grape and tulip, but I don't know how the black widows actually work on this paper. So, but if I go pinky, I'm not really digging the pro color pinks too too much. No. And all the pinks here are fleshy tones, which then would kind of mess with the flesh color. I don't want to do the pinky flesh colors. So, I mean, I could do the light, I can do polychromos. That's fine. So if I do, if I do the light purple pink, Maybe a light magenta. Those are so yummy cupcakes. They're And maybe a dark of the manganese violet. Let me look here. So. Manganese violet. So I said, uh, manganese violet. Light purple pink and light magenta. Let's, let's just see what we get here. Let's just see. So, I think this might be too pink. But let's just, or, or if I stick crimson in there, let's see. So, manganese. Purple pink. No, that's too pink. And then light magenta. Yeah, that's too pink. But the manganese and the light magenta seem to work pretty well together. Um, or I could do crimson instead of the manganese. So let's do crimson. And light purple pink. Oh, I like that. I like that. 
Maybe I could even stick in a light red violet. So let's see. Light red violet. Crimson. And light magenta. Yeah, I think that works out best. That was the least jarring combo. Cool. So, where do you go back? Right in front of the violet. So, I've got my, I got my colors. I got my colors. So, then I will be using this on. It's going to be like the bulk, I think. And then I may go in with grays or blacks even. I don't know, but I have a gray background. Okay. Let's think about this. <laughs> Let's think about this for a minute. So. I could actually use the blue in the darker parts and use the pink on the lighter parts. That'll tie it in. I'm done. I'm sold. Sold. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that is how I do that. Let's try to get some of this stuff done. Get my blues over here. I need to get these blues done. They're driving me batty. Driving me batty, 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 batty. So, hope you don't mind me taking you on that little journey of figuring some stuff out. I like watching other people figure it out. I don't know if you do. If you don't, that's okay. I did, I meant in the beginning before I like sidetracked myself to give a, a shout out to my new subscribers. You know who you are. Um, so many people, so many. I don't want, I don't want buff titanium. I want white. Gotta get all the orange off of there so I don't knock it. My bad. I hit it with my glasses. It's hard knowing where the edge of my glasses are. Um, there we go. So, thank you, new subscribers. I'm glad you decided to join me. I hope you have found it, if not entertaining, maybe informative. If not informative, maybe entertaining. Uh, um, I find that I work faster when I am coloring on camera. Um, do I work fastest when I'm live? But, you know, some days it just doesn't work out. I try to do... I try to do Tuesdays and Thursdays um, a live stream on YouTube. Doesn't always work out that way. Uh, hasn't worked out that way lately because of Girl Scout cookies. Um, going for the Prussian blue. Oh, my husband's asking if today is any better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. Um, No, I've completely lost my train of thought. Lord have mercy. I went to the doctors yesterday. Oh, yeah, I've got cookies. So, cookies. Girl Scout cookies. If you're not from the U.S. Are a huge thing here. Oh, do they have Girl Scouts anywhere else? I know the Girl Scouts, like... They venture to other countries, but I don't know, like, if 
those other countries have a Girl Scout equivalent. Hmm, I should find that out. I also really need to plan the next, uh, next meetings in March that I have to do. Crud. So much stuff. I'll put it on my calendar. My to-do list. My to-do list is getting to-do long. I tell you. I just want to sit here and color. <laughs> That's all I want to do is just sit here and color. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Sorry. I. So my mom's birthday is on April Fool's. And so at a very young age, my dad had taught me how to pretend to cry for my mom's birthday. And I would always be the one that goes in. Oh, knocked it again. It's because I'm on this side of the stand thingy. And so I'm moving around it. Anyway, so my dad would have me go in every, every birthday for my mom. And, uh, cry that we didn't get her anything that we forgot and you know I'd be bawling I'd also be laughing but because I I was cry I was pretending to cry it sounded more like a cry than a laugh so I've noticed that I accidentally do that every now and then where I'm like I'm pretending that I'm super sad and then my husband is like oh my god I'm so sorry and I'm like no 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 it's a joke but I can't stop crying now <laughs> because once you get it going you can't stop um so yeah yay on my dad I'm sure mom only really fell for it once but she pretended every year it was sweet she was like oh it's okay she was just having you here sad just having you be sad that you forgot is enough. And then we, you know, we'd bring her breakfast or presents or cards or whatever we made. So I'm sure, like, the first year my dad got me to do that, she, she was just like, oh, my God. But after that, I'm sure it was just like, eh, here we go again. <laughs> Those darn kids. Oh, I needed a drink. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. So, every now and then, if it sounds like I'm crying, <laughs> if it sounds like I'm crying when I'm, like, pretending to be upset about something, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I still, like, every now and then, like, my I caught my daughter. Oh, my gosh. My oldest. And she's, like, hyper emotional anyway. And I had pretended to be really upset about something. And like she just started bawling. And I couldn't. I felt so bad. I'm like no. Oh, mommy was just kidding. And she's like why would you do that? I'm like I don't know. I was like I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So now my kids don't like believe me. I have to tell them that, no, really, I'm upset. <laughs> like, if I'm, because uh, the, there's been one or two times where, like, I've been really upset about something, and I just start, like, well, and frustrated. Like, I'll get frustrated, and I'll start crying. I hate that. Get mad or frustrated, and I start crying. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, the laundry stopped running. You're right. Uh, anyway, she had to tell me, but so I get frustrated and I start crying and I hate, I hate that. So I get mad and then I start crying even more. But anyway, so whenever something like that happens, I have to, she's, she's like looking at me side eye. Like, is this for real? <laughs> is this fake? She's like, I don't know how to react. So I have to tell them, no, mommy's really upset right now. <laughs> 
See, like, I'm sniffling because I really was crying. Um... So yeah, it's pretty funny. I, I gotta stop doing that. Though. I can't though. It's ingrained. My dad started it when I was really little. Just remember every year. I'm so sorry, mommy. We forgot. My my brother and sister, they'd try to get in on it, but they'd just die laughing. And give it away so my dad had to hold them back so that I could go in by myself oh I want to be done with these ribbons I have just just a little bit left just a little bit left and then I can I can move on right Move on. Let's see, let's move that under there. I don't know why I said I'd do that villain sand poster. It seems like a really good idea at the time. And now I'm just like, oh, I want to do another buddy color. Not, not, that, not that the buddy colors I've been doing have been like, they've been so awesome. I've learned and grown so much um, but I, I don't know like I just I was, I was like oh man I just I just want to color something else <laughs> I mean I like these and I'll, I'll do them and, and whatever but like there's a uh, Fabiana Anastasio color along that I want to like get in on but I just I don't know and I want to do another dragon I want to finish Bob Bob the dragon I don't know I may I may bow out of the villain sand poster I don't know but then I'd feel I feel crappy for doing that you know what? I want to do some darker spots in here. Grab my Prussian. Bless you, sweetheart. Grab my Prussian blue. Grab my black. Get some really nice dark. The Winter Olympics start soon. The next Wednesday, I think. Wrote it down on my calendar. Love the Winter Olympics. It's one of my favorites. I like both of them, to be honest. I like the the summer for the gymnastics, and I like the winter for um, like the skiing and the ice skating. So I did hear Sean White was coming out of retirement to do the snowboarding. So that's pretty cool. Apparently there's another chick that's supposed to be top notch. Um, I don't think I don't think Apollo is doing ice or the speed skating anymore. He was fun to watch too, Apollo. Apollo Ono. I may have that completely wrong. Um, we're supposed to be a really, really good male figure skater. Um, I'm excited to see too. And I uh, have to see if my dad still has the... Um, he was in Okinawa when the... I think they were the Summer Olympics were in Seoul, South Korea. He went, got some cups and trinkets and stuff and was it the 80s or early 90s I forget it all just kind of blurs together you know so that'll be exciting I love the Olympics 
I love the opening ceremony, getting to see um, all the cultural dances and stuff. That's always super fun. Yeah, I think the roses will be yellow. I think that'll be good. Nice yellow, yellow orange rose. Poor May. She's like, oh, you're teasing me about the orange. I'm like, eh, maybe. I couldn't decide until, like, I just put these down. Then she goes and, and does an orange koi fish, so... Oh boy. This needs darker back in here. I'm going to have to do the black too. So there's overlap, and I, I don't know. I don't know how necessarily I want to shade that. I have to ask the ladies. The ladies. So, what is it? 1.30 already? Phew. Oh, let's see. Let's do this little tie over here. Yeah, I think, I think I feel better now that I got more of it thought out. It's always so difficult. And these, I think, I'm going to color like they're the rib cage of this beast, bone beast up here. So that should be fun. I'm going to color this like the rib cage. So it's a uh, holding the backpack on. Oh. But if you want, tell me in the comments. If you've still got the sound on and you've made it this far, I'm going to have to stop here soon. Um, tell me in the comments what you're working on, any color alongs you're, you're doing, or buddy colors, or um, whatever. I keep thinking I should do a color along, but then I'm just like, oh my goodness. I don't know that I would have the wherewithal to do it. We'll see. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. So we're just going to do this. I planned out the rest of it, so I'm pretty, pretty pleased. Pretty, pretty pleased with, oh, it got dark outside. So I'm, I'm fairly pleased with how this is turning out, y'all. I think it's I think it's looking looking fantabulous. So I will hopefully catch you Thursday, um, maybe with a live stream. Uh, fingers crossed, and. Maybe I'll have this almost done. Maybe we'll finish it. Maybe we'll start on the villain sand thing. Maybe. We'll see. But please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.